Officers move in on the campus of UCLA as the LAPD calls the pro-Palestinian encampment an unlawful gathering. And Arizona lawmakers vote to repeal a Civil War era abortion ban. The Morning Rundown starts now. From the Straight Arrow News Studio, bringing the stories that matter to you from across the United States and around the world, this is the Morning Rundown. Today is Thursday, May 2nd. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kara Rucker. Developing this morning, police officers have begun clearing the pro-Palestinian encampment on the campus of UCLA. Officers in riot gear could be seen arresting some of the protesters following a standoff overnight. Chants of peaceful protest contrasting with images of police clashing with demonstrators on the campus of UCLA. The LAPD calling the pro-Palestinian encampment an unlawful gathering and ordering the protesters to leave. Protesters defying those orders. This morning, police could be seen entering the encampment. Reports say, however, officers pulled back a short time later after scuffling with some of the protesters before officers began dismantling barricades. Those in the encampment could be heard chanting, we're not leaving. These latest developments follow a violent scene between pro-Palestinian demonstrators and counter-protesters in the early hours of Wednesday morning. The LAPD issued a citywide tactical alert Wednesday night, making officers aware they could be called in to assist in the ongoing situation. UCLA has been broadcasting a message telling the protesters to disperse or face administrative action. The school announced classes would be remote today and Friday. The scene at UCLA is being repeated at other college campuses across the country, with police arresting multiple people on Wednesday, including 90 people at Dartmouth College and at least 15 people at Fordham University. Arizona's GOP-led Senate has voted to repeal a Civil War-era abortion ban, with two Republicans voting with the chamber's 14 Democrats. Last week, three Republicans joined the 29 Democrats in the state House to vote to repeal the law. The Arizona Supreme Court recently ruled the 1864 ban is enforceable, overriding a 15-week abortion restriction enacted in 2022. The repeal bill now heads to Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs. It is expected to get signed into law. The repeal would then take effect 90 days after this current legislative session. Police shot and killed an armed student Wednesday outside of a middle school in Wisconsin after responding to reports of an active shooter. The incident prompted an immediate lockdown and a safety sweep of the school. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call reported that no other injuries occurred during the incident. Police officers from the Mount Hora Police Department uh, responded to a report of an individual with a weapon outside the middle school. Uh, police officers responded to that threat and they used deadly force. This incident took place outdoors. Uh, the subject in this case never gained entry to the school building during the incident, uh, and the subject was a student in the Mount Horeb School District. Call was unable to confirm whether any shots were fired by the suspect who was reportedly carrying a long gun. He also noted that the investigation is still active and some officers involved will be placed on administrative leave. The school district superintendent announced that the schools would remain open today for those seeking support with plans to fully resume classes soon. Prosecutors in New York are seeking to retry former Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein this fall after an appeals court overturned his 2020 rape conviction last week. During a hearing on Wednesday, the judge did not set an exact date, but said he expects the new trial to begin after the Labor Day holiday in September. Weinstein was seated in a wheelchair for his first court appearance since the New York conviction was overturned. He had been serving a 23-year sentence. He also faces a 16-year sentence for a rape conviction in California. His attorneys say they plan to appeal that ruling this month. The New York judge ordered Weinstein back to Bellevue Hospital, where the 72-year-old has been receiving treatment since last Friday. The next hearing in the case is set for May 29th. 
ExxonMobil took a big step to closing its $60 billion mega deal to take over Pioneer Natural Resources after coming to an agreement with the Federal Trade Commission on Wednesday. According to multiple reports, federal antitrust regulators will not block the largest oil and gas deal in two decades after Exxon agreed to bar former Pioneer Chief Executive Officer Scott Sheffield from its board of directors. The Wall Street Journal reporting the FTC will allege as soon as this week that Sheffield engaged in collusive activity with OPEC representatives that could have raised the price of gas for Americans. Once the agreement is filed, the acquisition could close within days, marking the biggest deal for Exxon since it merged with Mobil in the late 1990s. Finally this morning, Walt Disney World is set to host an art exhibit featuring dozens of portraits of service members and veterans, all painted by former President George W. Bush. The George W. Bush Institute in Texas is loaning 60 oil paintings. Each is accompanied by a story about the veterans written by the former president himself. The collection will be on display for a year at the Epcot theme park starting in June. These are your top stories this Thursday. You can get the latest unbiased straight facts anytime by downloading the Straight Arrow News mobile app. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, I'm Kara Rucker. Have a great day.